Thank you, Chairman Blackwell and members of the committee. Uh, my name is Kara McCraw. I'm a staff attorney with the Legislative Analysis Division, you and your name, the Legislative Research Division. And um, Representative Blackwell, as I mentioned, wanted to briefly review the work of the Educator Effectiveness and Teacher Compensation Task Force um, that uh, occurred in 2014, in the spring of 2014. And so all the members prior to the committee were sent a copy of the task force report and you should have a hard copy in your materials as well today. So you've got that in front of you if you need it. Um, just a little overview of, of the composition and creation of the task force. It was created in uh, the 2013 budget and it created an 18 member task force. It had both legislative and non-legislative members in both the House and the Senate. And it was chaired by Senator Jerry Tillman and by Representative Rob Ryan, who was also a member of this. So it has a very specific charge. Um, the law required it to make recommendations on whether to create a statewide model of incentive to encourage the recruitment and retention of highly effective educators and to consider the transition to an alternative compensation system for educators. So that's what the committee was charged with looking at. So the committee met in the spring of 2014. There were four meetings. Um, there were a variety of different uh, folks that were brought in, there were more than a dozen presentations. LEAs were asked to come and present perspectives. There were also several academics who did research on various compensation models who presented, as well as a number of different policy groups. Um, some of those were actually referenced in yesterday's presentations. And I wanted to let you know that those are available on the General Assembly website. So I've got a link in this PowerPoint, but I want to show you where it is on the website in case you want to uh, take a look at it. So on the General Assembly website, there is a committee section. If you go to the committee section, there's a drop-down box where you can pick from different committees. This one's Educator Effectiveness. Under the Meetings tab, it's by each meeting. So for example, you can see the Jake Victor presentation, Dr. Victor's presentation was referenced yesterday. You can see the PowerPoint is available there. So if anybody wants to go back and look through those materials, they are all available. Okay, so now with that background, let's talk about what they actually recommended. So there were six recommendations that were made by the um, committee for things that should be considered as the General Assembly moved forward and how to create an educator compensation task force. And there was one that they labeled as their primary consideration. Improve student learning by increasing the likelihood that every student has a highly effective teacher. So that committee recommended that be the primary guiding consideration whenever the General Assembly works on this. The next five are also going to seem somewhat familiar from yesterday's uh, remarks. Improve recruitment, and recruitment was discussed a bit yesterday. Recruitment of top caliber candidates, improve retention among highly effective educators, meaningful recognition and reward for career growth and excellence, increase teamwork, collaboration, and mentorship, and establishment of a financially stable compensation model to bring the teaching profession into the 21st century. The committee also made a short and a long term goal that it recommended. The short term goal was to significantly increase the salary for interim teachers and for teachers most likely to leave the profession, which based on presentations that were given to that committee were identified as teachers with less than 10 years of teaching experience. For long-term goals, the General Assembly would increase the salaries for all teachers and modernize the compensation system to more closely align with student outcomes and educator responsibilities. The committee did have one piece of recommended legislation that was to have the State Board of Education study sustainable and effective educator compensation models. That legislation was introduced in the 2014 short session. It was Senate Bill 833 and House Bill 1186. Another bill was enacted as it was introduced. There was a provision in the budget, however, that year, 2014, that asked for local boards of education to submit proposals on different compensation systems. <coughs> so I believe there about 70 school systems submitted proposals. Those are available on the General Assembly website. If you're interested in taking a look at those, they were submitted to the Appropriation Committee and the Education Oversight Committee. 